the May SAT is coming. And if you're not prepared, you're gonna get run over. Check it out. Okay, so the March SAT was a lot easier than a lot of people were anticipating. I had students get a hold of me immediately after and just say, hey, this was the easiest test I've taken. Easier than the practice test, easier than the content we were going in class. It was great. So great, good for you. But the May SAT, here's the thing. I think it's either going to be very easy, like the March SAT, or it's gonna be very hard. Let me tell you why. It could be very easy like the March SAT. Again, the SAT got hosed over 2020 because so many people couldn't take it. Because so many people couldn't take it, colleges stopped requiring it. So a lot of schools have gone test optional and some really still are. They, they will be through this admission round, but some will permanently stay test optional. So the SAT has to do whatever it can to take the teeth out of that test. They need to make sure that people that take it are not pissed about it. They need to make sure that it's still showing something, but they just need to make sure that students come and take it, right? That they're not intimidated by it so that it's not such a big hurdle that they just go with the testing optional schools, right? That's why it might be really easy, but it also might be bonkers difficult because classically I've been tutoring for the SAT since 2004, okay? And I've been tutoring since 2002, so almost 20 years. What I can tell you is classically, on the heels of a very easy test, you almost always have a very hard test. And the way the scoring works out varies from, from round to round, but what I can tell you is, it, I wouldn't be surprised at all if we come into May and the test is just, ugh horrendous. So you got to pay attention to this. Now, we still have months to go before the May SAT, right? You have just under two months. You have plenty of time to get cracking on homework, right? You, you can do practice tests through books. You can do my videos online. You can do any kind of stuff. The bottom line is you have to do something. You have to do something that's going to improve your score almost on a daily basis. Even if it's only watching a couple videos, you watch two videos a day for 60 days, that's 120 questions. That's like two, two tests worth of material. So look, hear me out, man. You're not gonna change. You're not gonna change at all unless you do something to change. You have two months. You have every, every opportunity, every resource you could imagine. You gotta get after this. And if you don't wanna get after it, don't take the May test. It might be really hard. Yeah, you could get lucky and it could be really easy, but it might be really hard. So listen to me. You have just under two months. You have ample opportunity to improve. If you're gonna make it happen, make it happen. If not, just go testing optional, baby. Get after it. Boom, son.